Okay, this is a 1994 F-150. A friend of mine just purchased this with 136,000 miles. It is a 4x4, but most importantly, it was and always has been a Michigan truck. So this is why he brought it to me, because he already knew the extent of the rust that was on it. He's trying to save anything he can, because he got a really good deal on it, and it runs too good to just let go. But we got to get started. So with the brake lines already being replaced by their pre-existing owner, uh, they're already starting to rust again. I'm looking at the manifold bolts and a few things right now, like the oil stick, the transmission stick, and everything inside of it that I can coat and protect uh, properly and safely. Sorry about the noise in the background. I am watching a movie while editing this video, so please bear with me, and thank you again for watching. Here, this is the actual hitch. It is absolutely gone, so that will have to be removed, and a new hitch will be installed. Of course, I'll be taking care of that, but everything that needs to be taken care of first will be done before the hitch will be reinstalled with a new one. One being these leaf spring shackles. They are absolutely gone. They are dangerous. We're going to work on these next. The mounts to the shackles are rotted so it's not just the shackles and it's not just the mounts but you know it's going to be other things as well most likely a leaf spring when removing one you might end up cracking an ear this one has been replaced that mount has actually has been replaced this one has not um, so we already know the one gas tank had been replaced and the rear gas tank has not he wants to replace that as well and that time when I do the leaf spring shackles, the mounts, uh, hopefully we don't have to do leaf springs. I can go ahead and give him those kind of details of what he'll need. But going to the front, half of this vehicle is actually in pretty good shape for rust-wise on the frame. Um, but there is the driver's half, which is all rotted, on the actual cab mount under the driver's floorboard. And on the passenger side, it's looking really good. That is the brake hoses I'm looking at, U-joints, cross members. Uh, Everything you can really, you know, focus on to to know where you're going to really try to help this truck. Uh, mainly the, you know, oil cooler lines, transmission cooler lines, power steering lines, the fuel lines. Those are all majors, but look at this. We got to get to these mounts. If any more mounts go on this truck, this one here, especially for the, the coil spring mount, this one hasn't been replaced yet. And these, they buckle, they break. The coil spring shoots out and it becomes very dangerous. So that's going to have to get done too. Now, he knew he got a good deal, but from, you know, knowing you get a good deal and knowing what kind of deal you got, now you've got some money you got to put in this truck to make sure it's 100% ready to pull and to do what a truck is supposed to do, besides just kill you on gas mileage and obviously rust. So, getting back to, I will get back with you guys and let you know uh, all the other jobs that will be done on this vehicle, but for now, it's just rust proof, and without even prepping, we're going to go ahead and shoot it and get it ready for the winter. Thank you guys, and keep watching. hallucinations either that or i'm hearing all the stations turn to static i've been waiting for this to happen I got too many people I'd like to mention for the pressure pressing up on my chest like a million confessions. Too many dependents to learn the lesson that if you keep a social circle stretching every second someone's always stretching. Way too many people thinking it's pretty easy to see me being nice. Like everything's a freebie, keep reaching, don't think twice. I got a pill for every situation faced if I ought to eat. Got a billion Bill Gates in a simulation, who hit control, I'll delete. Me and a sniper have a long distance relationship. She said I'm braver now, I wanna see you stand up. America. My flag's loud, no man down, we stand proud Why be a silent, but we're always sound Not guilty for being violent, but we're found I'm not blowing no smoke, I'm not wasting the rounds I'm being quiet, but I'm not hitting the ground I fight for freedom, and we face on right That's what we need it, you call the fake My future's at stakes, so rise up and make the ground shake Just know you're rolling, don't make no mistakes March there it is. Stand up, give me your angle I wanna see you stand up I'll give you the ammo You say you're a man, but can't you put your hands up? Let me see you stand, yeah. Let me see you stand up. I wanna see you stand up. Don't delegate it though, redirect it. Only verbal cues get admittance. Is this a problem that I need to be omitted? Are all the old habits? Let's get the business. Seeking the right. Well, the most important thing with rust proofing is making sure you get an even coat on all areas, inside and out and making sure you use enough. Don't be too light on areas that need a real generous amount. Doing this once a year is going to stop any and all rust from growing. And doing this once a year will stop it from ever starting. 
Now there is a more permanent solution for people who have brand new vehicles without rust. Do not be afraid to ask any questions to me. I have a lot of answers and I have a lot of suggestions for everybody. So keep on watching, see if you learn something, and from there you can invest well with your first purchase, your early purchase in life, and carry that many years forward, and maybe even give it to somebody else which will be their first vehicle. Now to wipe everything down and to put the rust plugs back in, I will make a list for him so he knows exactly what to do and what to start with first, and then I'll be looking forward to seeing him before winter of next year. Thank you again for watching.